Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Arnold Getz, your host. Right next to me, Sian Kajela, a coach and a man who also did his bit on Davis Cup tennis teams for South Africa. Very good to have your company. We hope you stay exactly where you are for the next few hours of uh, the matches. The first tie is Lloyd Harris, up to a world best ranking of 262 in the world, up six places in the last and latest rankings. And he is up against a man ranked 857th in the world. But make no mistake, the 27-year-old Mike Obanja is not someone to be underestimated. Up to his best was 477 in 2014. And there must be a reason why uh, the captain, Blas Trope, chose him to open up proceedings here in uh, South Africa. Aggressive move from Urbanja, straight from the word go, up to the net immediately. I think he's trying to keep the match very, I mean, the points very short. There it is. Well, co-commentator Sian Kachela ordered it. He asked for it at the beginning of the match. Simplest of putaways. Beautiful cross court winner, and not just a cross court winner, but a match winner as well. Wraps up the match. We have a match in our hands, yeah. Well, they've got Big Bash cricket in Australia. This will be Big Bash from South Africa. So, uh, chair umpire overrules that. His shoulders up there. He would take big advantage of that mini break there. For one, Slovenia. And he's got the serve. He's in control. He's won the third <laughs> set from almost nowhere, has South Africa's next goals. South Africa. The tie break. Seven games to After six. being 4 1 down. Yeah. That is one of the most remarkable victories on South African sporting soil in a very, very long time. Yes. Nick Skolz, you beauty. Now this fellow, can't be feeling all that grand because uh, he was the one involved in that marathon four hour and 20 minute match against uh, South Africa's next course. For him to come out here today is really, really amazing because, I mean, we were busy researching the other doubles partner and we realized that Gregor will be coming on. I think he's got nerves of steel. He's a man fan style there, man of steel. So he is going to do it all. And uh, look, I think he's feeling good. He played a five-setter. He's got the momentum. So he could, he could be feeling something good. Or the captain said, you know what, I'm going to throw you in there. But what is surprising is also the Slovenians change their team uh, as, as and when it goes, you know. So I think there's something that they're trying to wear. On there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 40, 30. You honestly have to have cat like reflexes up at the net there, and your anticipation has to be spot on. Six all. Well, well, well. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he returned that ball when it mattered the most, put it in there, and there we go. We'll all say. Wrapping it up at the net there. Even nice combination said, play South from Africa. both uh, boys Seven there, the South African boys, Rulofse and Atlassen. Okay, there it is then. South Africa. Three sets to love. Seven, six, six, two, six, four. That is then the rubber all sewn up. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning just before 11 o'clock with the reverse singles. Until then, for the whole crew, I'm Arnold Gert saying thanks for watching us live here on VLive.
live here on VLive and also on Streamit 360 from the Irene Country Club Pretoria. The Euro Africa Group 2 quarterfinal current standings as things are at the moment. South Africa for love. Keep South Africa. Nice clever serve there from Lloyd Harris. Stepping in there is Jitnik and catching him off guard. Gets him an ace there. Keep Slovenia. So out to a lead of 5 3 now, South Africa. And uh, that's where this it comes in terms of the challenger and the futures player, the when. When do we break? This could be the time where uh, Lloyd would be looking to break and get this 6-3. Nice official. Setting Harris for a 40-15 and a set point. And wraps it up. Comfortable as you like. But there is our next match, uh, Nicolas Skols, who will be uh, up against Ternar. And Ternar himself will have uh, a lot of work to do because uh, he is ranked 792nd in the world and up against a young man who's ranked 474. So uh, it's, it's interesting times. One of uh, possible four points that he needs to wrap up this match. Oh. And that wraps it all up. It was man to man combat in the end, but uh, 6 2 and 6 4. And he's out there saying thank you to the South African crowd. Marathon win, which I think just changed the mental aspects of this rubber altogether. Okay.